Next up. Big Jim Elliott, the man who won 19 ball games for the Bills last year. Take a look at Jim's big paw. That's the way to hold the ball when you want to throw a hard high one. A fast ball that rips across the batter's chest. And when Jim Elliott throws it, try and hit it. Jim's a left-hander, one of the best in the game. To all you port siders who want to learn how, better watch the professor. Come on, Jim. Uncork one of those great big curve balls. Another one, Jim. Let's see a curved ball that really curves. Bad enough. And here's the third member of the faculty, Clyde Dudley, who has a beautiful overhand delivery. When he goes into action, he looks like the picture on the cover of a magazine. Now get me right on this, folks. I don't mean the face. I mean the way he pitches a baseball. Now here's a big close-up of how Dudley says you should hold the old pill to throw a sinker, a ball that ducks under the bat. Here's the lad himself. Now watch that delivery, just like an artist would paint it. How's that for correct and perfect style in the box? And believe it or not, Dudley throws that way naturally. He's a good pitcher who looks good. Here comes another one. Just like a movie star in a baseball film. Thank you, Dad. Now, let's take a lesson from a teacher who teaches just the opposite. Ed Holly, the side wheeler. The man who will show you an outside roundhouse delivery that brings the ball right up to the plate at a crazy angle and gets the batter's goat. Ed holds the ball like this when he delivers his crossfire pitch. But... The trick is in how he does it. Watch him now. He's getting ready for the throw. Keep your eyes peeled for that wide outside sweep of the old right arm. Here's another angle on the same throw. Out and around and right across the pan. That's how Ed says you should learn to do it. Let's have another one, Ed. Boy, you've got to be a contortionist to learn that one. Last of all, Bill Collins. Bill is rated one of the best pitchers in the National League. But folks, I warn you, this lesson is only for advanced pupils. Professor Collins is hot stuff. This looks easy. All you have to do is hold a baseball just like this, and then throw it exactly the same way Bill Collins throws it, and you too can earn a big leg salary. But the trouble is, who can throw it the way Phil does? Just watch him now and see if you can imitate this one. Did you see that? Fidgety Phil. That's what they call him, Fidgety Phil. Go ahead, fidget some more, Phil. We want to learn how. Maybe we'll do better down here behind the catcher's right ear. Now, slow ball, Phil. Slow enough so we can count the stitches. Another one. And that will end the lesson. And then we'll all go behind the barn and practice fidgeting.
Thank you, Professor. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the cast for today's movie. Seven mighty suckers, the hardened, hardest, hitness batters of Philadelphia's National League team, the Phillies. Hitters whose percentage is 300 and upwards. You know, baseball's 300 is like society's 400. Very exclusive. But to get into this one, you've got to do it on a diamond, not with them. All right, boys, show the folks how you do your stuff. Here's another little guy, Dick Bartell, one of the best shortstops in the business, and 150 pounds of dynamite with a bat. Let's see you bun it, Dick. Be good. Now a good clean sock with both shoulders in the swing. Wham! Watch that boy get up and go. And after those two little fellas, here comes the powerhouse. Spud Davis, the big potato from Birmingham. When Spud hits a baseball, it stays hit. Notice this form. Both feet on the ground and a firm grip on the bat. That's all. And Spud dares the pitcher to throw one past him. It's a hit. And there he goes. Spud says he has to hit him a long way because when he runs the bases, he likes to take his own sweet time. Next up, Pinky Whitney, Bill's third baseman and captain of the team, and a hitter who can do a lot of damage with a bat. Here comes the throw. That's hitting him, and the place to look for it is a way back yonder by the fence. Hit another one for us, Pinky. Some of the boys out front want to learn how to do it. Next up, Don Hurst, who does his hitting from the left side of the plate. Every right field fence in the league knows what it feels like to stop one of Don's drives. Sometimes the wall ducks, and then it's a home run. Here comes the throw. Atta boy. Next and last man up, Chuck Vine, one of the greatest of them all. The lad who led the league in home runs last season. Hit one for us, Chuck. The great thing about Chuck is that they can hit practically anything that's pitched at him. They all look alike to his big stick. <clears throat> Watch him do business with a few bad ones that a lot of good hitters wouldn't go near with their bats. High one. Low one. That was wide. Inside. Chuck can make home runs out of all of them. going to be told how to get into this exclusive 300 site. Bert Schotten is the manager of Philadelphia's National League Football Club, and he's going to tell you just exactly how these 300 hitters that you've been looking at got that way. Bert Schotten. I'm convinced that hitters are born, not made. You can correct their form to help them. 
but they must have the natural ability to coordinate with eye and muscle 